Okay, now we're doing uh, some muscle activations for the squat. So, Hayden, if you just face to the side for me, so just face side on. So, what muscles is he using for his squat? So, he's using his glutes and he's using his core. He's also, obviously, he's using his quads, but most people have quite active quads. So, we're not necessarily going to work on activating those because most people's quads are active. But what we do is we sit on our bums, therefore they are not active, and we relax our core, so our core is not really active either. So we end up not using them when we jump into the gym. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a mini band, like so, um, and we're gonna wrap it around the middle of your shins. If you don't have a mini band, there are plenty of other exercises you can do. In fact, you can pretty much do this exercise without the mini band, it just isn't quite as effective. So gonna take a little squat down, and then you're gonna sidestep. That's it, left, and just keep going. You're gonna do 10 steps to the left, and then you're gonna come and bring it back and do 10 steps to the right, okay? And what this is doing is just activating the muscles in your butt, glute maximus, glute minimus, glute medius, all the glutes, doesn't really matter, but it's muscles that you use and you support your body weight with. But actually, you, many, many people don't use them to their full, effectiveness okay what else you can do is you can face face me and then you can squat down again and step back now think about pushing out and away that's it that's it yep and loading up we're loading up one foot and then we're pushing out and away so we're not just walking with stiff legs notice he's got a little bend in his knees which is fine and try and straighten up your feet a bit here as well that's it nice okay and then walking back towards me voila there you go. Okay, so that should be enough. 10 steps forward, 10 steps. If you feel like they're not really working and you wanna do it again, then do them again. Okay, now we're gonna activate the core and also we're gonna strengthen up the hip. Okay, so if you can lay on the floor, Hen, just exactly where you are. That's it, and you're gonna wrap the band around your feet this time, so around the toes. Okay. Lay all the way back once you've got that. Lay all the way back on the ground. Bring your knees up to your chest. Okay, and you're gonna do basically a mini sit-up. So bring the feet up, that's it. Do a little sit-up there. So he's got his core braced and active here. Now you're gonna leave one knee, so leave your right knee up, and you're gonna straighten out your left foot. Okay, and then what this is doing is activating his hip and his core at the same time. How's it feel? Oh, feel it. Feel it, okay, now do 20 swaps. So you're swapping. Okay, if you need to put your hands behind your head to support your neck here, you can do that as well. So if you're feeling a little bit sore. Okay, if you get any back pain or anything like that, just stop and uh, we can do a different movement. This is really like a double whammy for your core and activating your hip. You're really trying to pull this knee up towards your face when you do this. Awesome. Once you've done 20 of them, you're going to be nice and warm and your muscles are going to be active and your squat is going to feel a whole lot better. Um, if you try and squat without doing any muscle activations, then you're really asking for trouble. If you're gonna only pick one thing to do out of all the things we show you, it would probably be muscle activation, um, unless you're really, really stiff and you need to work on your mobility. If you've got any questions, please comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching, bye.